everybody. Welcome to my series, Going to the Country. A series of videos for uh, city folks moving out to a rural area. So I've got lots of tips on things that you might not have considered. Today I want to talk about uh, chickens and uh, what I think are some of the great benefits of having chickens. And one of the big benefits is the therapeutic factor. They're, they're really entertaining and they're kind of a gentle creature and they really seem to like people. Uh, and of course, the other huge benefit are the fresh eggs. I mean, there's nothing like fresh eggs. When, once you've had them, you'll never go back to store-bought. We've had chickens on and off now for 20 years, and, 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 and the eggs are, are quite fabulous. And that brings me to the first point about having chickens. As a city person, I didn't realize that you could have laying hens without a rooster. You know, I always thought, well, you've got to have the rooster to have the eggs, and you don't. Um, you just buy the laying hens and, um, and they lay. So, you know, if you're not into the sound of that, that you know, the, the obnoxious, noisy sound of a rooster, and they can be pretty loud, you don't need one to have laying hens. So that was one of the first things I found out. Um, my neighbor had a rooster and her property where the rooster was maybe 600 feet. And that was fine. You know, it was far enough away that I could hear it but it was what wasn't annoying. But I certainly didn't want them in my, in my backyard, 60 feet from the house. So the therapeutic value, I, I was surprised to find out how interesting the chickens are and how much they like people. Um, when the chickens are in the vicinity of the house and we come out, they will run up to us, really happy to see us, making their clucking sounds. And, and it's, it's kind of, it's just kind of nice therapy. It's, you know, it's kind of like having a cat or a dog. Well, not so much the cat, because he doesn't really care, you know, but a dog that's really happy to see you, and he's, you know, he's really happy that you're home. And, and the chickens are kind of the same way. They're happy to see you, and, and they co they'll come running up to you, making their gentle clucking sounds. And, and, and sometimes when we're sitting down, they'll be all around us, and, and they, they make this very gentle sound. I'll, I'll, I'll let you listen to some of the sounds for a few minutes here. There they go. And I think I've discovered the answer to the age-old question, why did the chicken cross the road? Because he wanted to see what his friends were eating. So, like I was saying, they're, they're a very curious animal. Be, be advised if you have chickens and they're free-ranging in your, in your yard, if you leave a door open, they'll come in. So, if you don't want them in your kitchen, don't leave the door open. Um, yeah, they're, they're very curious and, and quite intelligent. No, no, okay. No chickens in the house. <laughs> okay. There are a few downsides, and, and I want to address some of those. Um, today, uh, in 2016, you know, we read about jurisdictions, municipalities and cities that are allowing chickens. Um, a small flock doesn't have a very big footprint. Uh, you can keep them in a pretty small area and, uh, and they will produce eggs. It is nice to let them out in your area in free range. They will scratch up and, and eat the bugs uh, and the baby slugs, so there's a benefit there. But if you have a small lot, if you're in the city, or even if you're in the country, um, and you have children, you might, and you, especially children on the ground, you might want to fence an area off where you can keep the chickens out because they will have, you know, there are the chicken droppings and you don't want to step in them or have your kids crawling around in the droppings. Um, and if you have a vegetable garden, you're, go you're going to want to fence that off. If you're in the country, you have to fence the veggies off anyway for the deer. Uh, that's, that goes without saying. But you don't want to keep the chickens out of your vegetable bed because when you're planting, they will scratch stuff up. They'll scratch up seeds and they'll poke them up and things like that. Uh, my gal is a big flower gardener, and we haven't found them to be too destructive in the flower garden. Um, 
They will scratch up the mulch, of course, looking to see what's underneath it. And if you're really big on mulching your flower garden to conserve water, you might want to think about, you know, creating an area for the chickens, a separate area for the chickens, closing them in, and they might not have as much room. Uh, we let them roam around and, and, you know, they have a really good time and, you know, and they eat lots of good stuff and really helps your egg, uh, not only your output, but the quality of your eggs, I think, too. I'm not going to talk about chicken coops. There's all kinds of great videos on YouTube and all kinds of different ideas on, on what you can build, small coops, etc., mobile coops, feeders. There's lots of stuff there. But the one thing I will mention about the coops, and I talk about this in another video, uh, it's up here, uh, uh, is how to keep ravens out of your coop. Ravens love chicken eggs. And we were getting, our coop was getting ra raided by ravens. And um, I discovered I just had to make the opening smaller. I, I, I changed the opening from uh, 20 by 16 by 20 to 11 by 12. And that seems to be working to keep the ravens out. I've got a video up here linked to the, to the raven story. I, I did it, I set my camera up and I actually captured the ravens uh, raiding eggs in our barn. It's, it's really cool to, to watch the ravens in action. And the other thing to know about chickens is they, do need, they need to get locked up every night. Um, so you have to be there. Somebody's got to be there to lock them up every night. That's really important uh, for their own sense of well-being. They have to feel secure in their coop and, you know, safe from predators. So if you don't lock them up, up at night and they get stressed out, I'm sure it'll affect your egg, your egg output. So there's a few things to think about before you get the chickens. But by all means, uh, if you've got some room and, and, and you're around, they're great therapy. I highly recommend chicken therapy. So thanks for watching. Um, check out my other videos. There's links up here to my other videos on going to the country. As well, I have a series called Vancouver Island Chronicles. It's a series of documentaries that I've been working on since uh, 1995. Documentaries that have aired on television, uh, won awards. They've been screened uh, in film festivals. So there's some there's some uh, good stories that are mostly about, you know, the people and places of Vancouver Island. And uh, if you want to support me, um, a lot of people don't realize that uh, I don't make any money unless you click on the ads that YouTube posts here. So you can help me out by turning off ad blocker for a few minutes. I know we all use ad blocker now. Just turn it off for a couple of minutes and, and check out some of my sponsors. Otherwise, I don't make any money. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.